Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon. Out there. Omega Edition. Alrighty, so we're doing the um, what if scenario today. We started that last episode. Remember, what we did is I went ahead and I rolled back my save to before we jumped to the green marker where we got one of the endings of the game itself. We were having such a good run that I figured, you know what, why not continue going forward and check out what the other two markers in our map might lead us to. Because, you know, we're interested in seeing all the endings, right? So at least we got one of them, which was pretty good. But I figured that we had such a good, you know, ship going on. We had a lot of resources. We weren't struggling whatsoever. So I figured, you know what, instead of, you know, just starting all over again from scratch, let's continue going forward in a what-if type of scenario. And that's what exactly what this is all about. Now, last episode, for all of you people that were, you know, unfortunately, you know, complaining or getting mad about me not mid-maxing, last episode we did a lot of, um... Moving of the systems here, as you can see, all these um, systems over here powering one another up, which is, you know, doing pretty good. I mean, so, I mean, I do thank you for complaining about it. It's fine. Believe me, otherwise, if you guys not complain about it, I probably wouldn't have done it anyway. So, you know, we're doing some pretty good stuff over here. Now, last episode, however, we ended up with this over here, which was anomaly detected. I'm not sure if that just means there's probably like a possible technology in here, but... I don't think I've ever scanned a planet with the geo scanner and it's ever said anomaly detected. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Let's find out what's down in here. Oh, okay. Oh, there's an otherworldly shining rock. It's it's the component of an alien spaceship. Maybe I can do something with it. Gravitational sails! Oh, it's back! Okay, I'm excited about this because if you guys don't remember, we were also Um, in a sense, um, mugged by the quote unquote villainous aliens. I'm not sure I, I'm thinking they're villains, right? They were dicks to us, but I'm not sure why, but they were dicks to me. So they stole a lot of my my technologies a while back when we actually ran into them. So one of them was the gravitational sails, which is important because I wanted to actually put the gravitational sails next to the interplanetary reactor, which it already is, but I wanted to put it up here so then we could probably move this bad boy over to he this spot so we could probably power up our shield generator as well. So let's find out how this works out. So for gravitational sails, since we have the... Let me make sure, right? Gravitational sails right there. Okay, it requires um, thorium, right? Thorium! Luckily, we have quite a bit of it, so it won't be an issue. Let's dismantle you now. Um, yeah, hang out there for a second, and then we will build you over here. So you'll still get the power up from being next to this guy, but now we can move this bad boy over here. Now, mind you, sometimes it doesn't necessarily give you the the sync power. Um, some of them, like for the probe, for instance, I put the probes next to each other and they didn't, you know, power each other up. So it's not really required for everything. I'm not entirely sure how to tell the difference. Maybe if I looked into it more, I'd probably know, but I just don't know. I apologize for not knowing, but I just don't know. But whatever, I'm still going to take the plunge over here. So what do you require to be built? Uh-oh. We don't have any W. Hopefully you give me enough of the uh, W element to um, rebuild you over here. So let's find out what you require. And actually, you're not the one. We need this guy. Uh, void fluctuation projector. So void is over here. Iron, TH, and W. Do we have any iron left? No, we don't. Okay, so we need iron to move you up there. Which isn't a big problem because iron is exactly the hardest thing to find. So once we get some iron, I'll move you up there. For now, we'll just leave you open here. Okay, let's um drill away over here too and see what we find. Iron, excellent. Exactly what I was looking for. Let me move you over here, fill you up, and then we'll place you over here. TH, you could probably just go away at this point. And our hole right now is completely filled up, so we don't need to use any of the iron that we just found. Let's come over here, and we will now dismantle you. Um, Let's drop you. Yeah, confirm. You come over here, and then over on this side, we will do... Bam! Alrighty! And that does indeed sync this up more. Perfect. We are just like this fucking synchronous type of powerful, majestic spaceship over here, and I'm liking it. Alrighty, so everything's looking pretty good. We'll move you down over here for now, and that's about it, huh? Okay. So, we got another sink going on, and that's pretty good. And we drilled over here already. It was basically just iron for the most part. So, let's take off. We're done over here as well. And let's, um, jump. Um, more fuel wouldn't be a bad idea. Never a bad idea whatsoever. So, let's orbit over here. And let's scan around. We got some hydrogen. Do we have a spot for hydrogen? We we do if we want to, yeah. I prefer some helium, but... What if instead of using it... He actually, let's just probe. Let's do at least like a sixer in probing. Sixteen is pretty good as a matter of fact. So let's um fill ourselves up here really quickly. I'm going to go over to the big giant though. And then we'll probably probe that guy for maybe some helium though. 
We'll see. Uh, get out of here. Jump over to the red... Oh, it's a red dwarf. Uh, not a gas giant. Uh, let's go over here and scan, and we have helium and hydrogen. Perfect. We'll do a probe of maybe six to keep it on the safe side. Ten more helium is pretty ideal. And we have 11 hydrogen. 11 times 2 is 22. 4 times 3? Is it 4 times 4, right, for helium? 16. So, um, yeah, we have more from the hydrogen aspect itself. Let's place you over here. Let's um, top ourselves off. We'll probe one more time and then jump out of here. And... Probe one more time. And we'll actually take the helium as a matter of... Actually, no. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. We have 14. And actually, yeah, we will take the helium after all. Helium it is. Let's finish up. Our oxygen is actually pretty low. I haven't really been paying too much attention to my oxygen, which which I probably should, considering, you know, I'm human and I need oxygen to survive. We need to find either a breedable planet or just a place we could find some oxygen in general. White dwarf, huh? Well, if we come down this way, we have the option to go to red. Um, yellow seems to be out of the equation, no doubt, from here. Like, there's nowhere to jump from here around here, as a matter of fact. Do we have to go all the way around for yellow? Maybe for yellow, you have to go down this pad instead. Oh, boy. I'm not sure about this one, man. So, yeah, I guess we'll keep going down this way because yellow seems to be really sketchy to get to. So, hopefully, there's another crossroad over here that we can kind of jump to it. But for now, we'll jump down this side. So, we'll go over to the white dwarf itself. Again, oxygen is kind of kicking our ass a little bit right now. I thought there was nothing here, or even worse, a black hole. The reality is different, impossible, and incredible. Something enclosed the entire star system in a giant sphere made of black matter. I see nothing except a cube-shaped construction orbiting the stellar sphere. The word glyph, Ulkar, is shining up blue upon it. I have no idea what Ulkar means. If I touch this glyph and I die, it could be terrible. Ah, you know what, we've been overcoming the odds for a while now, let's give it a try. I land on the cube construction, don my spacesuit, and safely secure myself to the ship. I approach the glyph and gently touch it, and it disappears. Suddenly, the stellar sphere dematerializes and the star system takes its place. No, no. In fact, I'm the one that dematerialized. I've been teleported here somehow with my ship to a new solar system. You have been warped out there. Oh, no. No. Well, I guess we're not too far away. Eh, it could have been worse, I guess, right? Warp me back a bit, but not too far off. The thing is that we're still low on oxygen. And I'm not finding any place to find some oxygen here. We're not going to find it in this rocky planet more than likely either. We need to find a breedable planet pretty fast, man. So, no, we're not going to come over here. We can't really afford it. Let's, um... We might have to jump back again, too, right? So we have a red dwarf. And we have yellow dwarf. We're going to probably have to hit both of them up if we want to find some... Oxygen, as a matter of fact. So let's jump over to the yellow dwarf first, I'm going to say. Oh man, Oxygen's not looking too good. As soon as my ship warps into the star system, ten huge flame trails slash and bounce across my hull. Comets! A huge, uh, a huge field of them are traveling here at great speed, tearing at the darkness of the cosmos with shiny blue and gold hues, fluttering in a gravitational waves. So I could try to catch them, apparently. I could ignore them, I could activate the Ultra Probe, or I can mine the comets. So if I probe them, more than likely we're looking at fuel, right? If I mine them, some sort of um, element that I might need for something else? I don't know. I think we're okay in fuel, though, weren't we? Weren't we? Yeah, I think we're okay in fuel. Let's try to mine it for whatever. I go full throttle to catch up with the comets. Once in a synchronous trajectory, I use the drill to gather water and oxygen. Yes! <laughs> yes, I lost 10 of fuel, but I don't care. We got some really important... Oh, and a breedable planet as well. Okay, the run continues. So, um, we're low on oxygen, but we'll probably check this out after we're done over here, right? So that we have the max oxygen and then we could take off to another system. So right now, we are looking pretty good, so let's not worry too much about it. Um, let's use up what we have over here, though. Just because I want to keep an extra, an extra space just in case. So let's come over to the rocky planet first and foremost. We'll scan it about and see what's in here. Iron, silicone, mm, possibility of platinum, which is actually pretty rare to find. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm fine. I'll skip on this one. Uh, you are important because of fuel. You only have a low amount of hydrogen, so never mind. Let's come over to this big boy over here. What do you have for me? You have 
possibly a good amount of helium for us. So let's probe and we'll do like a 7 over here. Um, you know, it could have been better. Could have been better. Let's finish up over here. We'll use up the helium we just found. We'll probably probe it one more time in hopes for something better. But we're going to also use some of this helium up over here. So yeah, we'll probe one more time. I don't expect it to be big of a supply right now. But, better safe than sorry, so we'll take hydrogen and a little bit of helium. Okay, let's get on out of here. And let's get our oxygen supply sorted. What's in here? Carbon, oxygen, and gold. I think we needed gold for something, correct? So yeah, let's land. We will drill, definitely. The breedable atmosphere of this planet has allowed me to restore my oxygen supply, which is good. Let's um, encounter life number one. We have some sort of green flame dude over here. We fear people debt. We love life. We love life love. We love fear you. You want life? Uh, yes, I, I would like life. We people, yeah. Me people good. All right, so you're good people. We want Ramcon. We give technology. Um, I don't know what Ramcon is, my friend. Unfortunately. I don't think I have, or do I have hydrogen? I think I might actually have hydrogen. I'm not sure what um, Ramcon is, my friend. Um, I'll give you... Maybe this is Ramcom? Me people, yeah. Me people, good. Me love you. Hey! Oh, he doesn't like it. Doesn't seem to like it. We lost Thorium, and that's about it. Well, at least he didn't fucking burst me into the ball of flames and kill me, so there is that. Um, since he didn't give me a technology piece of shit, I'm gonna drill the hell out of your planet. How about that? <laughs> so... We have some iron over here too, right? Let's actually fill up our hole a little bit too. Because we might dump the iron as well if we need space for something that we're going to actually over here. Remember, we need um gold. Because I believe with gold we could make the solar sails. Which could possibly connect to the interplanetary reactor. Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Not anymore. Because we have this over here in its spot. And I'm not going to start breaking shit down again. Unless, you know, I can move you here, because you don't need to be next to anything, right? What do you require to be built again, Ultra Probe? <laughs> it's like a fucking game at this point. It's like a game of musical chairs. Platinum. And iron, which we do have. You gave me iron, right? Okay, you know what? I could move you down here. Let's, um, place you over here then. Ultra Probe. Okay, and then, if I could move gravitational sails over, then we could move this over. Gravitational sails requires uh, ba, 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 thorium, which we actually have a quite a bit of. So, dismantle for now. And then inter interplanetary reactor just requires iron, if I am correct, right? You, ba, 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 where are you? Iron, yes. And we have it. Okay, we could do this. So, dismantle. And we'll place you here. And then we will place... Um, what did I just destroy for that? <laughs> I already forgot. I'm not even joking around. Gravitational sails, correct. And then we can place the solar sails next to this guy. Oh, actually, we need to get some gold first. I'm, I'm jumping ahead of the, myself here. So we need to find some gold before we can make that happen. And, yeah. So... Hmm. How would we make this happen, then? We'd need to get rid of iron for now, then, right? Yeah. So we need to make room to get the gold onto the spaceship and then build this. So we'd have to probably more than likely get rid of the iron. So if we find gold, we'll get rid of iron. Drill over here and we will do like a sixer for now. There is the gold that we do need. So let's move you out of the equation, my friend. Bring gold over here. I'm, I want to consider taking some oxygen with me too. You, you saw what was happening with that, right? How important is silicone? I am going to probably leave silicone behind now. So, let's do... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll leave it behind. Let's, um, actually, before we even decide to leave it behind, we can just build this from here. So, solar sails, correct? Crafted. It does sync up. Excellent. So now, I don't think I need gold anymore, so I could probably bring silicon with me. I mean, I know gold is actually pretty rare, but so is silicon. I rarely ever see that, too. Silicon and gold, both pretty rare. And we're kind of filled up over here to the brim. We can't grab any more iron, so more than likely we will dump iron, or we will dump silicone for iron in case we do need it. But for now, I think we're doing pretty good, so let's finish up over here, and let's just get out of here. Our spaceship seems to be doing fucking amazing, I would say, right? We have all these sync things going on. Yeah. Okay. So, we've, um... This was the last thing we checked over here. We're ready to go. 
So, now the... Uh-oh. I can't jump over here. That's unfortunate. That is quite unfortunate. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. I guess we're going to probably have to come over here before we can jump back down over here. So we'll go to this red dwarf. Um, we're not really looking for much right now. Just more fuel to kind of keep us going. Day 396. I lie on the ground and wait for the space folder to finish its work. I am one with the ship, like a material mass vibrating in a void. Someday the ship will pilot me. Oh, hey, check this out. Another abandoned ship for us. Let's see if this guy's any better for wear here. Ooh, you look relatively interesting. You have no resistances, but you kind of have a little bit of a phallus shape to you, if I would say. Let me see the cargo here. What the fuck is this? Gravitational lens. This isn't an upgrade to the telescope. It acquires multiple images of stellar bodies and compares the differences, thus discovering additional orbital objects that would otherwise be hidden. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, what's unfortunate about it is that even finding this over here doesn't teach me the, um, the technique or the uh, technology. It'd be, a f it'd be amazing if it would. Does it? No. I wonder if I break it down, if it'd give me, oh, you know, we never built this Ansible either. What does this do again? If a star system is inhabited by alien space fleets, okay. Hmm. For this, we would have needed some gold and cobalt. We had a chance for gold to bring some with us, but we didn't. Cobalt is actually kind of rare, too. Eh, whatever. What's with this superconductor over here? What do you do? Oh, shield generator? I want something to kind of expand my jumps, in a sense, because I feel like we're not jumping far enough. Uh, it doesn't really seem like... I mean, most of everything over here we already have built. Yeah. Subspace reactor, hafnium, yeah. Okay, let's, um... Show the cargo. I want to break down what it has. Just for any extra... Re oh, there's some gold right here. And hafnium. I was hoping that just breaking down the, um... You know, something that we didn't have would teach it to us, but I guess it doesn't really work that way. Um, hafnium, gold. There's some gold right now if you wanted to make that, um... Technology, but I don't really... I think I want to make it. We have hafnium and gold. Oh, we need cobalt. Cobalt is what we needed for that. So no, never mind. There's some platinum here, which is kind of something that's really important. Hard to find. Let's move you here. Yeah, I guess we'll probably go forward with that from now on, huh? Silicone, platinum. Yeah, I guess we'll go forward. Again, it doesn't really teach you just by breaking it down, I don't think. It'd be amazing if you could, but no. Alrighty. Well, I'm really interested in that ship. So let's um, jump over to Red Dwarf. For some fuel. Let's scan over here. Excellent. Let's fill up right now while we have the chance. We'll use you over here. Um, silicone. You know, you might be going bye-bye pretty soon, my friend, because I would like to space for helium and hydrogen. So if we get the chance to get some decent amount of it here, I will probably get rid of the silicone finally. So let's probe and we'll do like a 7. 11 and 9. Not exactly the greatest amount. I'm not sure if I want to dump 19 silicone for only 9 hydrogen. That's 18 fuel right here, right? Eh. Yeah, you know what? No. But what I will do is fill up and probe one more time before we leave. And we'll do like a six this time around. Barely any fuel. Okay, we'll go around this way. At least we're kind of fill, uh, topped up everywhere else. And let's get on out of here. And uh, we're going to jump down over here because that is where we're kind of heading before we got warped away, right? So White Dwarf it is for now. And we've been here before, correct? Although it warped us away the moment we came here, so maybe we'll probably be able to do something on it now. Um, we'll orbit over here and see what's over here. Scan about. Iron. Not interested. Come to the White Dwarf. Hydrogen. Um, yeah. We could probably use some hydrogen at this point. Let's use the helium. And let's probe you for maybe six. Uh, good amount. Really good amount. Ah, uh, boy, oh boy. Do I want to get rid of something right now? Silicone, this would be the it. This would be the time to get rid of it finally. So let's do it. My my fuel supply is kind of worrying me a little bit. It seems that we'd use a lot of fuel to jump. So, again. We have a lot of um systems over here built. So I think at this point, the only thing that really stop us is, you know, a lack of oxygen or fuel. So we'll probe... One more time, we'll do like one more sixer over here. Eleven. I will definitely take it. And let's get on out of here. We have a jump to the red dwarf. Red marker. Oh, there's the red marker, guys. There is the red marker. Okay, so here's the thing. We're going to have to go to the red marker because the yellow one is really beyond our reach at this point. 
I guess to get to the yellow marker, you'd have to, fuck, go maybe all the way through here, it does seem, and make like a really crazy arc around. Yeah, so we're going to have to be able to hit the red one, but not the yellow one, unfortunately. Alrighty, so we're going to call an episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. I will catch you next time.